But these two men have designs on solidifying the playoff picture. Anthony Showtime Pettis, Haush Manfio. Our co-main event, Randy. And that man coming off a decision victory, hard fought affair, split decision victory over Joel Ton Luderbach. Now he thinks he can make a statement with a victory over Anthony Pettis, and he's predicted a knockout. He looked sharp against Luderbach. He said he had to dig deep. He tore something in his ribs, punching Luderbach. Had to overcome that, dig deep, and get through. He thought it was one round apiece going into the third. So he learned something about himself in that fight, and he wants to show that here tonight. And Anthony Showtime Pettis finds himself in a win or go home scenario, Kenny Florian. You saw the piece. He's motivated. He says he's sharp. We'll find out soon. That's right. You know, he's dealt with adversity in the past, obviously dealt with that here earlier this season. And let's see what kind of adjustments he made. Obviously didn't get off to a great start. He's going to have to get a great one here against Manfield. Take a look at our tail of the tape presented by Bose. Anthony Pettis, five years older than his opponent. He's also an inch taller. They both weighed in at the limit. The reach is the exact same in the arms. One inch advantage for Haush Manfio in the legs. And to Lillian Garcia, we go. Fight fans, the $6 million pursuit continues. And this fight is in the lightweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a striker. Standing at 5'9", he officially weighs in at 156 pounds. In 15 professional fights, he has a record of 12 victories and three defeats with seven wins by way of knockout. Fighting out of Porto Alegre, Brazil, here is Haush Warhorse Manfio. His opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is a kickboxer. Standing at 5'10", he officially weighs in at 156 pounds. In 35 professional fights, this veteran has a record of 24 victories and 11 defeats with 18 wins by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, here is Anthony Showtime Pettis. Your referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Keith Peterson is equipped with our ref cam to give us an up close look at the action. Anthony Pettis in the red trunks, Haush Manfio in the black and gray, USA versus Brazil, do or die Sir, for showtime. Sir, are you ready? Fight. Both fighters in an orthodox stance to begin this three five minute round co main event. A couple of inside leg kicks there from Pettis. Haush Manfio tries a straight right hand. Push kick from Pettis. Right hand snuck through there for Anthony Pettis on the counter. Pettis already looking much sharper, doing a good job of really dominating the center of the smart cage so far. Check hook it there from Haush Manfio. Spinning attack from Pettis. Manfield's able to back up and evade. It's like a Tasmanian devil in there. <laughs> An unpredictable Pettis is a dangerous Pettis. He, you never know what he's going to throw. And you heard Pettis in that piece he was talking about. He felt he looked sloppy with some of those creative attacks against Clay Collard. So far, he's looked pretty sharp, even on the spin. Uh, I think this is a, a, a big-time tactical mistake by Manfield to not be constantly pressuring someone like Anthony Pettis and giving him space and time to create and move. Uh, I think that's where you're going to allow Pettis to really dominate. You can learn something from people who beat a common opponent and play collar, advanced, pressured yes. Anthony Pettis. He told us he was going to do it, and he did it, and he got the win because of it. I wish Manfio might want to adopt the same style. Nice left hand there from Manfio after the right. Anthony's just too creative. He, he's too technical for you to allow him a room like this. He's afraid. He's afraid. He feels you. 
There we go. He's going to lower his guard. And you land a hand right there. Use your boxing. Let him walk around and use your box. Move your head. Head movement. Head movement. There we go. Stay calm. Manfio not shy about using his right hand as the lead and finishing with a left hook. Pettis may be the older man here, but he definitely looks much quicker than the younger Manfio. Catches the kick. I wish Manfio pushes Anthony Pettis away. This is where Manfio wants to be. This is where he can pressure and start to blitz with some attacks here. Almost on cue, he comes forward with a right and a left. Manfio, interesting, he throws kind of a half jab to start his combination. Then he goes big right hand, big left hand. Pettis now circling on the outside of the smart cage. Take a look inside Anthony Pettis' red corner here. Duke Rufus. He's looking for the same hand. Yeah. No, punch back. Don't get caught in the kick game. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And then double jab. 21. Uh -huh. And back to the double. Back to the double jab. Off that exit. When he exits, you have the kick. Looking good, Anthony. Faint fake. Another display of a fighter listening to the coaching from the corner in live action. Treat for the fans. Rufus calls for that 21 combination. He got it. There's a right hand and an inside leg kick from Pettis. Kenny, interestingly, Duke said, don't get caught up in the kick game. He wants Anthony Pettis to use his hands more. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I think that um, is uh, interesting advice just because Pettis is kind of known for his kicking game. Obviously, they feel that he's got a, an upper hand when it comes to the hands. That may be the case. Uh, but uh, for Manfio, I, I'm, I'm just a little bit perplexed but that he's not putting more pressure uh, against Pettis. You know, he's backing him up here and there, but I don't know. Uh, it, it might be the intimidation factor, the, the, the big brother factor, the star factor, but uh, he needs to get on his bike here in round two. Maybe uh, just a little respect, but he's definitely got to get him close to that barrier and cut off his escape route. Absolutely. Combination for Manfio as we finish round number one. Manfio co-main event here Sir, we ready. at lightweight, Sir, we ready. the final fight. fight of our lightweight regular season. Pettis in the red, Manfio in the black and gray. As PR Sports says, Anthony Pettis got the first round. He lands a hook on the exit there after the clash. Up and down goes Pettis, body kick attempt there for Manfio and a push kick. Wow, big I right hand by Pettis. I think the naked kicks are flashy, but a lot of times you're gonna have trouble catching a guy with that. I think punching your way into a kick and then finishing the combination with the kick is where you catch a knockout and finish a guy. 100%, especially against an experienced striker. 
The replay on this one is academic. If you're in the ovation hall here, you can Eights. hear that. <laughs> yeah. Precise, just in the wrong spot. <laughs> Unfortunate situation there, but Anthony Pettis already good to go. He was a push kick, and Pettis was coming in as he threw it. The laser right hand landing a couple times, then the low kick does as well for Anthony Pettis. Push kick from Pettis. Goes high with that one. A finish in any round, I believe, gets Anthony Pettis into the playoffs. We'll get into a tiebreaker affair if he wins by decision. A lot of guys holding three points in our lightweight standings right now. Low kick again there from Pettis. Those are heavy shots yeah. in that lead leg of Manfio. He dug that one in deep. There, there's where Manfio needs to let go. He threw two and backed him up. He needed to follow it and stay in that in his face. Absolutely. He's letting him off the hook, and he's not cutting off the smart cage here against Pettis. Leg kicks continue to mount up there for Anthony Pettis. If you think they're not significant, it means you've never eaten one. <laughs> hook there landed from Manfio as Pettis backed out. It's interesting because he's a volume puncher, and there's not a lot of volume coming from House Manfio at the moment. I think Here. all the motion, all the footwork, all, I mean, it's got him confused. He's not sure. It's it's unlike anything he's seen before standing in front of him. I agree. The footwork really is the difference. You know, uh, Manfio, very dangerous striker, but certainly looks more robotic out there than the loose Pettis. Little shuffle step there in the left hand. Third punch came through for Anthony Pettis. There's the right hand again. Almost flush. Starting to score, and you can see the damage on the face of Jaúl Manfio. Still very much in this fight, the Brazilian. That one hurt him. Backed him up. Nice little left hook, lead left hook. And we've seen this Anthony Pettis before. He starts feeling himself. He gets creative with the strikes. He's at his most dangerous when he feels like all the weapons are at his disposal. And that's why you got to crowd him. That's why you got to you got to pour on some of your own offense. The hesitant Howard Manfio going to have a hard time solving this puzzle. The sweat goes flying in that class. There goes Manfio with a nice right hand. Heavy kick there on the low cap from Manfio. Another right hand for Anthony Pettis. Hook partially lands for Manfio in response. Push kick there for Manfio. Good check hook from Manfio as he moves backwards. And Pettis has probably fought Southpaw for the majority of his career tonight fighting as a righty and he'll switch back and forth but it is such an advantage when you're able to fight from both stances. He may be standing orthodox but there's nothing orthodox about what he's doing <laughs> yes. out there. Good combo there from Anthony Pettis. Oh, Double nice jab and a right hand sneaks through up and down. Look at the head movement from Pettis. Another kick to the midsection. Manfio thought that one north of the equator. Pettis disputes. much on the replay but we're back to action anyway here as round two winds to a close
action picks up. Canfield blocks the overhand right. Round three when we return on ESPN2. Uh, so listen to me, bub. Yep. Keep pumping that shit. Mm -hmm. two, one, That's the key. One, two, one. And when he exits, punt for the body I kick, the head kick. Yes. Well, don't force it. Yeah. But get, stay on that. Tranquilo. Yes. I'll jam. Yep. He's when he's reaching, parry and counter, too. Okay. Right? Okay, you're doing great. Keep pressing your head in, man. I like this. We're getting rounds in on this new style we're working on. I love it. You're doing great. Yeah, don't don't be impatient. This don't is good impatient. stuff. We're helping with uh, the next oh, stage. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah. exactly. There we go, babe. Good job. He's ready to push him back, my guy. Sean O'Connell, Randy Couture, Kenny Florian. Beside the PFL Smart Cage, one final round of our lightweight regular season between Anthony Pettis and Haush Manfio. Pettis with zero points in our regular season standings, Haush Manfio with three. And a much better round two for Anthony Pettis. Manfio's got a big blob of Vaseline on the back of his neck the referee wants to get off of there. Make sure that doesn't fly off and hit somebody in the eye or something that, like that. That's a good eye by that's a good eye by Keith Peterson, making sure that no foreign substances affect the way this round plays out. It is a crucial round. Anthony Pettis can get in to the playoffs with even a decision victory, but a finish will lock him up a spot. Otherwise, we get into a tiebreaker scenario with a lot of folks holding on to three points as Pettis starts to unload some oh. more jabs. with a big right hand, glances off the shoulder of Pettis. Test the kick, Pettis with a one, two. Oh, that right hand may have landed for Manfio. Pettis is hurt. Combination twice, he hit Pettis hard. Manfio says, stand back up, let's do it again. Pettis happy to oblige, marching forward. Yeah, Anthony's got to be careful as he as he trades in the pocket with Manfio. He was doing a good job of getting in and getting out, but he's attacking in a straight line. Now Manfio trying to pour strong. it on, and here he comes with the power shots. Now how's Manfio pushing against the cage here? Manfio showing his power for sure. Shaking it off is showtime. Totally different approach here in round number three from Haush Manfio. It's all about the pressure. Kenny, you've been suggesting that for two frames. Yeah, and listen, it's paying off. Big oh, D wow. again. And a nice left hook over the left over the right shoulder of Pettis. A little blood leaking under the eye of Pettis now. To me, it seems like he's now only getting comfortable in round three or feels comfortable that he can attack. But it's also a possibility that maybe he was waiting for this third round to pour it on. You see the left eye of Anthony Pettis is definitely bruised and swollen. Pettis tests a high kick. Manfield lets it glance off his forearm. Stalking, stalking, round and round they go. Low kick from Pettis. And one from Manfield as well. This has kind of been the Clay Collard fight in reverse. <laughs> Wild. Manfield catches the kick. Push each other away. Two minutes remain. A bonus point still on the line. If you can get a finish here in round number three. Oh. 
I'll tell you what, I had the first two rounds for Pettis pretty clearly. This could be a 10 8 round. I mean, he put him down twice. Yeah. This could be a draw. That's a great point. A draw would put Howish Manfio into the playoffs. He already has three points. One more would separate him from that log jam. He landed a hook there as well. Howish Manfio. 90 seconds left. Pettis with an inside leg kick. Another right hand from Manfield. And that overhand right to set it up, followed it with that uppercut, trying to know that Pettis is going to duck out of the way of the overhand right. And once Manfield has him past that black tape in the smart cage, he's got to pressure him. He's letting him off the hook. <laughs> Finally, some offense here from Pettis as Mantia goes once again to the calf kick. Yeah, that hurt Pettis. That hurt, hurt. Yeah, he's hopping on that one. A lot of motion here from Anthony Pettis. Not a ton of aggression here in round three after he got dropped. Maybe still a little gun shy. Here he comes with a combo. Kick attempt. Manfield crowds it wisely. Not a lot of urgency from someone who needs a finish to guarantee a spot. There's a switch kick attempt. Final 10 seconds of our lightweight regular season. Manfield rushes forward. Kick to the body. Catches a kick. Throws the right hand. And it'll end that way. They hug it out. Very interesting fight, wow. especially that third frame. Wow. Back and forth. Housh Manfield thinks that's it. He thinks he's done it. We'll see if the judges agree with that. Very fascinating. Before we head to break, let's take a look at the Cajunomic Stats Bundle presented by Geico. The volume goes to Housh Manfield. Maybe the precision, especially in round two, to Anthony Pettis. Let's see how it plays out. Take a look at these rich energy replays on the back and forth, Kenny. Uh, this was definitely back and forth. Pettis got off to a much better start here in this fight, was moving very well. There's where Manfio caught him. Pettis dropped down to his back. It seemed to survive the round. Again, another beautiful combination there from Manfio. Landed a knee that hurt him. And there it is right there. That was a direct result of the knee. Manfield so close to taking him out in that third round. I mean, for me, that had to be a 10-8 in that, in that third round. That's how I saw it too, Kenny. Fighter performance rating, that's uh, reflective of what is often scored as a 10-8 round, a 95 to 35. But the first two rounds, according to FPR, brought to you by Rich Energy, go to Anthony Pettis. Razor thin margin, though, there in round number one. What did the fans think? The fans thought the, that it was rounds one and two for Anthony Pettis in round three went to Haush Manfio. With verdict, you the fans get to be the judge. So who won the fight? FPR says Pettis, fan vote says Pettis. Randy and Kenny say, I thought it was a draw. We don't have a picture of a draw, so you get to play. <laughs> uh, what do the judges think? We'll send it to Lillian Garcia for that. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge John Billick scores the contest 29-28 for Pettis. Judge Dave Torelli scores it 29-28 for Manfio. And Judge Don, Donnie Corelli has it 29-28 for your winner by split decision, earning three points and clinching a spot in the 2021 PFL Playoffs, Hoosh Manfield! The biggest win of Hoosh Manfield's career not only comes over Anthony Showtime Pettis, it guarantees him a spot in the lightweight playoffs. Three points in the lightweight standings. 
Pietra. 